you said about it, Mother Nature. Don't let the boys doubt it, spoil their fun. We're gonna do uh, the clan McKenna's Sagittarius. Another great song from his new album. Um, we're going to cover the chords, and after that, we'll talk about the lead guitar. He's playing with a whole, you know, full band. They're overdubbing parts, so uh, this is um, just basically an arrangement. If you were going to just play chords and sing it, you'd start with in the G. And in in the good in the song there is a riff being played in the background in G. We'll cover that after I cover this chords. So it, it hangs on G, and I think because of that they do little um, transitions between each verse. Like I think at one point they go to a G augmented. Just just to break things up and then sometimes they do like they there's one where he's like they play like a very atonal uh, kind of uh they throw that in the riff so there's a little tricks but basically uh it's just on the g everybody wants to do. and that goes to about uh 50 seconds into the song all right then it goes your mother's this is uh, like the pre-chorus just uh, C to D you don't have to be sad about it oh nature this is the part I was singing I'm going to just talk about the lyrics because uh, the song begins like he Heaven Knows I'm Miserable, something like that, and which, which is uh, the title of a Smith song. So if you're interested, go uh, check out uh, Heaven Knows I'm, in, I'm uh, Miserable Now by the Smiths. Because in this song, he's talking about like a rich, spoiled person who like is like really put out because they have to go, you know, see the Andes, you know, maybe with their family, and like, like everybody wants to see it. Not everybody wants to see it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's good lyrics. All right, and then it goes back to the G. They have little, you know, transitions, um, or little, you know, guitar fills and stuff to kind of break it up a little and then at about the two minute mark um they had this new section uh, i don't know what you call it we'll call it section three uh, it's a uh, G. You play it with the open G. C, D, G, E minor, C, D. And that plays for a while. So that plays, uh, that's at around the two minute mark. That's featured very prominently in the rest of the song. They had a G, E minor, C, D. It's the chord progression. Uh, the lead in to that new section is, Take the day off, Mother Nature. the thing there is the the tempo of the song totally changes 
goes to like a new tempo. All right, let's um, get into uh, some of the lead guitar stuff. This is kind of like the... It's kind of the melody that's being played uh, on, on either a guitar or the synthesizer. I can't tell. So we play open B. All right, and I'm just showing, I'm, I'm gonna show you more on this, so it's not, it's not played like I just showed you. I just am trying to demonstrate the melody. All right, so it's um, open B. Then we play at the third fret on the B string. Then you play open E. And then you play on the on the high E, you play at the third fret and down walk down to the second fret. And then you finish with the open E. Alright, um, and then the other part of it is with your uh your uh strum hand, you have to do some palm muting. So Okay, you hear the difference? That's kind of what's being played. So you're just letting the strings vibrate a little bit. And you're doing that by kind of putting your hand on the strings. And that's something you just have to develop a feeling for because uh, that only comes through practice. So, and then I think that all, all, I do think it is being played on a guitar, but then that the sound is being heavily processed, like with, you know, for example, guitar pedals would be one way to do that. All right, and it's kind of like a, Kind of like a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There's an emphasis. All right, uh, so mess around with that. Let's see, that's uh, how I think it's being played. All right, moving on. Our part I hear is um, like around the one minute mark, maybe a little before. This is kind of like a pedaling uh, hammer on move. Okay, and I'm playing it on the uh, eighth and tenth frets. Then I move up to the ten and twelve. Could be played on the uh, G string lower down. you want to play it, it's fine. It's the thing about the guitar. It's a lot of different ways to play the same notes. But I think it's being played up here at the 8th and 10th and the 10th and 12th. But you, you could play it however you want. Well, whatever's comfortable for you and easy. Next thing that happens is there's kind of a uh, walk up and the, there's a little more distortion on the guitar. Less, uh, it's less processed. is the part he's like yeah mother so it starts here it starts here and this would be a note out of the C chord so it's like yeah, yeah mother and plays goes up so that's on the G string at the fifth fret and there's a lot of vibrato on it and it goes up to the seventh fret on the G string then it keeps going kind of does like a 
walk up to the 12th fret. Just a quick uh, hit on some of these notes. Okay, and when it, when it gets up to here, I think it stops. Because this is uh, where we're going to play some of the melody. Alright, um, and that's like, I think the next thing that happens. The next thing that happens is the guitar starts to double his uh, singing. It, it just plays the melody of the song. And we could play that right here. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And your root is this G string on the 12th fret. It also means we could play the same thing in the open position. Something like that, uh, but it's all right here. They, there is one transition. This is like wow, the uh, guitar is walking up and playing the melody. That's a transition between uh, you know different sections that is used there. It's a A power chord, G power chord, C. This is the riff though that plays. Those are the notes that are being played uh, on this little riff. That's 12, 13, 15, back to 13. 13, 12, go to the G string. 14, 12, doing the bends and all, all kinds of stuff. And they may be doubling the track. They may they may play the same thing and record it twice. As they go into like a reggae kind of feel, where they're playing on the offbeat. So they're using a palm muting again, like we did on the open G riff. They're just playing C to D. So uh, the thing with that to know is you're the em you're placing the emphasis on the and one and two. And. The song uh, ends and the guitar player is like playing a little double step. Between the C and the D. I don't know if this is exactly what she's playing, but that's the kind of thing. Uh, and I'm just playing uh, out of this is a C, if you play a bar chord here, on the sixth fret, and this is a D. And this she's just playing on the the higher strings, she's playing chord fragments. And the hammer-ons. Okay, so that's Sagittarius by Declan McKenna. I hope this helped you. And uh, another great song about uh, people living on Earth and 
going to space. All right, bye-bye.